Okay, hello everybody. Um, let me forget the noise. It's a quick cell phone video, and I am doing it on my street, right? So here's what we got set up here. We've got an oscilloscope. We've got a handheld digital uh, oscilloscope. It's 60 meg uh, <coughs> sampling. Uh, and then the dirt over here, hooked up to the probe, is what's called a geophone. It's a seismic detector, um, loosely. I don't know how sensitive is it. it is. We're sampling direct signal. Um, I kind of wish my uh, oscilloscope here would go to a little lower resolution. It's only about 10 millivolts per division. Um, voltage resolution. Kind of wishing it would go a little lower. I probably got it a, 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 an analog in the house that will do better. Uh, this is kind of a, a cheaper Chinese model. It's not like a you know, it's a hand tech, whatever that is. Picked it up recently. Used just so I'd have a digital storage scope, uh, mainly for digital stuff, but I'm, I'm messing with some pretty weak signal analog this time around. And I just, I'm out here with it just for portability. Um, I I'm almost sure yeah, I got a Tektronix that'll do better than that, but it's a little honking. Anyway, so what we're playing with is this is a seismic detector. And if you can see, as I move my feet here, turn that uh, brightness back up, we're generating signals. Um, so far, direct sampling on this resolution, I can see signals within a couple of feet of this thing. Um, my goal is to see if I can make a seismic sensor for like a driveway, for instance. Uh, you know, to see if uh, somebody comes in your driveway or for uh, without, you know having a beam across it, uh, one of those IRs, or you could place it on property, uh, to, you know, for, for intruder, intrusion detection in property. Um, you know, maybe if you uh, have neighbors you're worried about or have a problem with poachers or something. Um, I got the idea after watching documentaries on the Border Patrol. They use these things uh, up and down the border on known smuggling trails. And so I'm trying to get an idea as to how far out I can detect it and how sensitive that thing is. Uh, I just took this up 10, 15 minutes ago. So uh, I'm just getting started to playing with it. I don't have any definitive answers. But just sampling, even at just sort of a, a bad resolution, I can detect my footsteps several feet away from that sensor, just me in casual wear, not being particularly heavy-footed though I am a, a pretty large individual um, which I'm not gonna tell you how large I am but I'm large <laughs> I, I'm bigger than your average uh, person um, so the next trick is is if I want to sample this say with maybe an Arduino or like an MSP430 and use the analog inputs on it I have to go look at the technical specs to see what their analog inputs will sample, what their sensitivity is. But I imagine I'm probably going to need a line preamp uh, on that uh, on that geophone in order to boost the signal up to anything that the microprocessor will recognize. Uh, the eventual goal is is if I can boost it up, I have a voice playback module, a chip that, that will play 10-20 seconds worth of sound uh, coming in the mail. I want to tie that over to the Arduino and then also tie, uh, tie it into a two-way radio and tie the, the key down on the radio to a pin on the Arduino. Uh, maybe through a transistor to, to pull the PTT line down or what have you. Whatever it'll take to interface it. Anyways, you can use some of these Chinese two-way radios that are relatively affordable. Got a little bit of power to them. If you're a ham radio operator, uh, you can afford to use that power. If you maybe have a GMRS license, you can afford to use it. Um, 
or you could just even tie it to some off-the-shelf GMRS radios if you don't want to go through that. You know, go get you some cheap Cobra radios or what have you. Package the whole thing in the NEMA box, camouflage it, stuff it out somewhere, and just make sure you have another radio tuned to the same frequency. Set it up so when this thing trips, it keys down the radio, fires off the voice playback circuit, and you're done. So, uh, and that way you'll get a radio alert when somebody enters your property. Um, just a thought I had. I'm playing around with it just for giggles. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions? Thanks.